All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakaq, Wadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shay Shalom, taught the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay. This article just popped up on my, um, my uh, feed, my news feed. Okay. And it says that the house, which is, you know, America, um, approves resolution recognizing Armenian genocide and snub to Turkey. Okay. And this is just one of the many articles that's been, uh, you know, that was wrote. Okay. And it says House Democrats on Tuesday appro approved a controversial resolution to recognize the Armenian genocide, a move intended to anger Turkey at a time of strained relations with the U.S. It says, speaking on the House floor in support of H. Res 296. Okay. Um, let me see. So it says, House Foreign Affairs Committee Chairman Elliot Engel. Okay. Said the resolution is an important measure to set the record straight on the atrocities suffered by the Armenian people at the hands of the Ottoman Empire in the early 20th century. Okay? So, you know, this is this this America is a joke, man. Okay? Because you know, they're doing this to uh basically uh, you know, slap Turkey in the um, face, you know, to make them mad over something that happened in the past. But when we tell them that um, that the things that they have done in America in the past, you know, they don't want to they don't want to admit it. You know, they'll say that that was their fathers and stuff like that. You know, that's why this is a joke. OK, so in this right here, it says the person right here. Okay, and it says, um, uh, this was a genocide, and it's important that we call this crime what it was. Okay. Um, which, slavery is far worse than, than that, man. Okay. Uh, it says, um, earlier this year, Turkish president said that Nations accu accusing his country of committing genocide had their own bloody past. Okay, which is that's talking about America. Okay, and a lot of these other um countries, you know, that that had their hand and on um you know the enslavement of the children of Israel. Okay, scripture that comes to mind. Okay, is the book of uh, Habakkuk, the second chapter. Okay, because this is a slap in the face. Okay, um, and it's Habakkuk two and four, and it says, "Behold, his soul, which is lift, which is lifted up in, I mean, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith." Okay, and one of the things that um, is a part of the faith, okay, that's a part of us being in the truth, okay, is that the Lord, you know, he sees everything, okay, and, um, you know, they think that they're going to, you know, get away with, you know, what, what has happened, okay, because, you know, they're, they're not putting out any, you know, um, you know, information about what they did to our people. They're trying to change the um the uh, school books, you know, what they teach uh children. You know, to say that, you know, our people came over here on their own, you know. So the so called white man, you know, is you know, is lied, you know, and they, you know, folk trying to put attention in else uh, other places, okay? Ecclesiastes Three verse fifteen, and it says, "That which has been is now, okay, and that which is to be hath already been, 
and God requires that which is past. Okay, so the Lord requires, you know, the past. Okay, you can't you can't make it seem like every you know that there's anything, you know, um, new under the sun, because there isn't. Okay, in this this society, I'm gonna go on to the next verse. Okay, and it says, and moreover, I saw under the sun, the place of judgment, right? That wickedness was there. And the place is righteousness, that iniquity was there. Okay? So here on this planet, okay, there are, you know, a lot of wickedness. Okay, the you know, the people who um got over and 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 you know even even to the point of lying, you know, they seem to be, you know, one some of the most prosperous people on this planet. You know? But um continuing on on um Habakkuk okay Habakkuk 2 and uh 5 it says yeah also because he transgresses by wine he is a proud man neither keeps at home and this is what you know this article is going into okay the fact that you know they're worried about the history that another comp uh, uh country you know what they, their ancestors have done Rather than what they have done as a people, you know, in this this country, okay, which is a a, a total uh, joke, man. Okay, and a lot of um, a lot of uh, you know, Israelites, you know, they like to vote Democrats, man. You know, it just shows you how you know foolish people are. Okay, it says who who enlarges his desire as hell, right? Because they'll make, you know, a lot of Armenians think that they could just come here and, you know, they'll um, live a decent life, okay? Which some of our people, you know, are, you know, uh, you know, we're going to look like Armenians, okay? It says, and is is death and cannot be satisfied, okay? So they can't be satisfied with anything. It says, but gather gathereth unto him all nations and heap unto him all people so now all these take up a, a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say woe to him that increases not i mean that which is not his how long and to him that laideth himself with thick clay because you know the the so-called well I, i'm gonna say america which is babylon you know they uh you know, first off, they, they got rich off the blood, sweat, and tears of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, still to this day, you know, and, and you know, they want to sit up there and, you know, try to, you know, slap Turkey in the face, you know, with something that, you know, has happened in their, their you know, past, okay, which, you know, it, it said 1920s, which that wasn't that long, but guess what, slavery they said that it was abolished in 19 or 18, around 65, I believe, you know, and that wasn't that long ago, you know, we still have a lot of, uh, hatred out here. Okay. Um, a lot of hate crimes, whereas though, you know, the LGBT community, you know, they have more rights than, you know, uh, the, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, people could call us niggers and stuff like that all the time and get away with it, you know, can say uh, uh, wet back, you know, or, or some type of racist joke and, and get away with it, you know. It says, so they not rise up suddenly that shall bite you and awake that shall vex you and thou shall be for booties unto them. Because thou has spoiled many nations, okay? Is, uh, you, you, you know, America is talking about what um, 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 our Tur Turkey has done, you know? But they they not considering the things that they have done, you know, onto everybody, not just the, the Israelites, but everybody else, you know? The so-called white man, you know, they don't, they don't think about what they've done to everybody else, you know, and... You know, they always want to make it seem like they're the, 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 the they're justified in the things that they're doing. Okay, it says all the remnant 
of the people shall spoil you because of men's blood and for the violence of the land of the of the city and of all that dwell in therein okay and it's going to be even even worse man in the in the uh future man you know they're going they're going to you know put you know diseases out here Okay, they have they have a, a, a something called the CDC, which is the Center for Disease Control, you know, and that's in Atlanta. You know, they they could easily, you know, put out you know something, you know, to 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 affect a, a large majority of people, you know, to make the people here sick. Okay, and it says. Uh, Woe to him that covets an evil covetousness to his house, that he may set his nest on high, that he may be delivered from the power of evil. Thou hast consulted same to your house by cutting off many people and has sinned against your soul. Okay, and that's what the so-called, when you look at the so-called Negroes in America, you know, they'll say that they're, they're um, that we're from, you know, Africa, right, so-called Africa. But, you know, we don't know where we're from, you know, really, you know, because there's so many nations and tribes over there in Africa. You know, we got cut off as a nation. We don't know where we're where we're from. You know, we don't we know that us that's in the, the, the faith. You know, we believe that we're from the land of Israel, Israel, that we are, you know, one of the 12 tribes of Israel, you know. But the so-called white man is cut off, you know, let's not even talk about the Native Americans because this this is their land, you know, which are the Native Americans are the tribe of Gad, you know, and the tribe of Reuben and, you know, amongst other, um, you know, other uh, tribes of the northern northern kingdom, you know. So it says, uh, thou has consulted same to your house by cutting off many people and has sent against your soul. Okay. It says 12 verse, woe to him that, that builds a town with blood and establisheth a city by iniquity. Okay. Sixteen verse it says, thou art filled with same for glory. Drink thou also and let your foreskin be uncovered. Cause they they really drink uh, you know, that the you know, they really get basically the 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 being drunk off the philosophies, man. The so called white man is, you know, he really took a he he took a lot of his his own medicine, man. He's gonna get a, a a heavy dose, man, too. You know, from from the most high, you know, Yahweh. But the the same things that you know they're putting out there for the world to to uh drink up, you know, they really really believe that what they're doing is the right thing. You know, and it's going to it's going to fall back on them. Okay? It says the cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned onto you and shameful shameful spewing shall be on your glory. Excuse me. And that's what, you know, the um the you know the man from the president from Turkey was saying, man, you know that America, you know, was just one of those uh, countries, okay, that uh, you know they they have a, a a very bloody past, okay, even more bloodier than the um Turkey, okay. So, you know, with that said. They're going to have to, to, to pay for that. Okay. Isaiah 21 and uh, 14 and 21. Okay. And this is the last verse. It says, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. Okay. So a lot of these, you know, people in Congress. Okay. People that, you know, are, you know, in high places in, in America. Okay. You know, they, they're. Uh, being prepared for the slaughter and that's why we we do videos like this to let them know that hey you're not off the hook from off of slavery man you didn't even you ain't even recognize it and even if you do recognize it it's way too late you know if it's, it's way too too late okay 
Because the scripture says that blood uh, defileth the land. Okay. Numbers 35 and uh, 33. It says, so you shall not pollute the land wherein you are. For blood, it defiles the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Okay? So, you know, the only way that this land will be clean in the eyes of the Lord is if the ones who shed it blood will get, you know, their blood shed it. Okay? Which goes into reincarnation if you can, you know, receive that. Okay? Where it says, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with, with cities. Okay? So, hey, you know, the slaughter is going to come. Let me get the word slaughter. Okay, and see what that says. Okay, and I'm going to end the lesson. <clears throat> okay, and it says, a slaughtering place. Okay, let me get the definition for slaughter. It says kill people or animals in a cruel or violent way, typically in large numbers. Okay. Then it says defeating an opponent thoroughly. Okay. So that's what's going to happen, man. Okay. So with that, you know, and it's not that they care about the Armenians or anything like that. You know, they doing this to, to, to you know, slap Turkey in the face, man. You know, they don't care about what, what really happened to the, uh, you know, the people in Armenia. Okay. So with that, man, you know, Lord willing, this was edified. I want to say shalom till next time.